Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble Dungeon Guide, I'm going to take a look at Dead Mines on Blackrock Week. This has been a very challenging dungeon, but I have some nifty tricks for you for this one. First I'm going to talk a little bit about the three bosses in here, then I'm going to talk a little bit about the armies that I have, and then there's also gameplay footage of me doing this with Ren, doing this with Dragazat, doing this with Ren without talents, and yeah, all sorts of fun stuff coming right up. When it comes to relics on Blackrock Wig, there are no relics that are as strong as the Footman for Alliance, for Grunts for Horde. Shadow of City Commendation, deploying Blackrock Mini also summons two Whelp X at your base. This is kind of okay, but that also still requires for the opponent to actually go to your base and deal some damage there and then get the Whelps to pop up. So that's fine. The Unstable Concoction is also kind of okay. On death your minis explode, damaging nearby enemies and poisoning them. Actually, this is one of my favorites this week and it's not even that super good. Another pretty decent relic is this one that gives bloodlust to nearby allies. But actually I think the best relic in this dungeon is the one that gives stealth. Because once your Blackrock minis, the flying minis have stealth, then they can just always win encounters because they get to hit first, but... Overall, the relics in this one are not super strong, unlike on previous weeks. The first boss in Dead Mice is Mr. Smite, and this fight is not very fair. The Mr. Smite has a bunch of minis that are not dependent on his gold income. These minis over here that are in stealth, they are going to respawn periodically. These minis in stealth are also going to respawn periodically. And then there's going to be a Stonehoof Tauren that's also going to come periodically, come down the pipe and attack your base. And also those Defiance Bandits out there respawn periodically, so that's a lot of free minis. So you really need to end this one and not let them have too many of their playable minis alongside them. There's two meeting stones in the map, one on the right, one on the left. There's one gold vein over there, there's a couple of gold veins over here. And the way I like to play this map, I like to take this meeting stone with an unbound unit right at the start, so that attacks cannot come from this direction to the base. Then I can only focus on defending this passageway here. If I have talents available, then something like Whelp X are superb here in the defense. If I don't, then I have to struggle a little bit more. And sometimes use units here, sometimes play units only once my base is getting attacked, so that the unit can defend and then go on to attack. I'll try to dominate this pathway, so that I will have access to these two gold nodes. These minions here, these can be destroyed, for example, by a safe pilot. So you can drop a safe pilot on them, and then they're gone for uh, some time. And then Mr. Smite, you want to try to turn Mr. Smite around with an unbound mini, and hit him from behind, and that's pretty much what happens with Mr. Smite. The second boss in Dead Mines is Googie, and this fight is also quite something else, because do you see all these minis? Googie is regularly going to get a bunch of minis from this side, a bunch of minis from this side, and then he's going to send them as an attack wave on the left lane or on the right lane. And yeah, Googie also already controls three towers, there's a couple of chests here, Googie has control of this gold node, while there's one contested gold node over there. So what about this map? You really, really have to find some way to handle all these waves. Flame Waker is one way, something like Blizzard is another way, but my favorite way is Living Bomb. Because Living Bomb actually is, it's just incredibly strong spell in this map. Because this first wave, this is going to start coming. When you Living Bomb them right here, then they are going to blow up next to the tower, and depending on the level of your living bomb, they might even take down the tower with them, or at least they injure it really badly, so then you just basically get a free tower. However, the next waves. The next waves you want to blow up next to Kuki. I have tried blowing them up when they're next to other towers to take more towers, but that's a waste of time. All you need is this leftmost tower, the next waves you want to blow up with living bomb when they're next to Kuki, because then Kuki is also going to take damage from that living bomb. And then you just push your attack from this left side and beat, beat up Googie. Well, that's pretty much it. Right at the start you want to take these chests and you want to send a miner, because there's already gold on the gold vein, so you want to send a miner out there. But you focus on defending, pushing this left lane and taking Googie down. If you're using Blizzard or Flame Waker, then obviously Googie is not going to take damage from when the wave is going to be killed, but you will still be able to kill the waves and push on Kuki. Third boss in Deadmice is actually by far the easiest, and that would be Sneed. 
because Sneed, well, Sneed has this one mechanic, which is the coping machine. So when this is sparkling, then that means that the next mini that's going to stand on it, on either one of these plates, the two plates are connected, is going to be destroyed, and then multiple copies of it are going to be spat out by the machine, and then they're going to start attacking this tower here. But that's typically completely fine, it's unlikely that anything truly bad can happen. You can drop some unbound minis there, you can try to get your cobalt miner to run there when it's sparkly, and you're not going to send like rent there or something really big. And Sneed has molten giants that you want to try to avoid him to get there exactly when it's sparkling. But other than that, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Other than that on the map, there's this tower here, this tower here, so typically you would push to the left, you mine this deposit, you'd grab the chests, and then you take this tower, then you take this tower here, and then push on to Sneed, and Sneed just falls pretty easily, Sneed is not as hard as either of the previous bosses really. So let's talk about armies. My basic rend army for this one is a flying rend army with rend, drake, Whelp X, Harpies, Quillbore, Safe Pilot, and the Living Bomb, because I really prefer Living Bomb for that cookie map, but the Living Bomb could be a Flameworker or it could be a Blizzard. Also, there is room to adjust the rest of the army, although those Whelp X with the Flame Burst talent are just incredibly powerful, and I always like to kill bosses with Harpies and then use Quillbore to distract, that's just something that I like to do. As for the talentless rend army, it's basically the same as my full rend army, but I'm not using Welpex. I'm using Welpex in some parts of the footage still, because I tried to make Welpex work with this one, but eventually Welpex without the flame burst talent, they are just not worth bringing along. So I ended up replacing those with Defias Bandits, which worked slightly better. Finally, I've been using basically the same army with Dragizet, although I have replaced the Drake with a Vorgen, because Dragizet doesn't give discounts to a Drake, and then Vorgen helps Dragizet a little bit with adding more damage so that I can get enough damage together to actually kill the boss. And this is what the entire dungeon looks like, with talents, without talents, with rent, with Dragizet in action. No! Too slow! It's vengeance, I'm going to drop a living bomb on you. Alright, Prowler's coming quick. Don't use these harpies here so that they will kill the Prowler, but then go the other way. We're going to drop this on the troll. Boom. I didn't like that troll. I'm going to drop those over there to reveal those. This has enough time to go and mine. While everyone else is just be chilling. It didn't have enough time to go and mine. I was mistaken. Makes me slightly sad. Come on, Hop, you could have just went ahead and killed it, right? That's still still the Tauren is a problem. I would need to get gold. That wasn't good. We, we can improve. We can get those killed and we can get this miner out there. Miner will go through. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This kills their miner and the troll. Yes. Our miner is still alive. We're going to get so much gold here. We're going to get so much gold here. Yes, 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 yes. Eggs, 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 eggs. Hurry. Now big push.
I need something to I need something to stop them for a while. Okay. Execution. Not just the composition, but also execution. Wait. Hold. Hold. You see what I did there? I dropped the living bomb so that I also got the tower from the bomb. That was that was completely planned. We are going to use the same tactic for the other other tower. Living bomb. And the eggs. A little bit of damage there, but it's okay. I don't want to let them have that gold. We're going to need another living bomb. We need to save. Money, money, money. We have control of the map. Full control of the map. Big living bomb. Like this. Start mining. Already have the chests. We'll begin the we'll begin the crucial push. now. The push begins now. I thought the push was going to begin there, but it did. This is your main account. Yeah, this is the main account. This is the one that's supposed to be simple. Let's not mess it up. We got quill bores, that's totally fine. Wilbur's are not Wilbur's are nothing burger.
I mean, just look at this boss compared to all the other bosses. get the now I don't get the start well we just better better hope that there's no no deployment there too early Bandits will try to ambush there. Top is into this fight as well. Use that to take out those. Now we can deploy more minis again. We get to mine. And we can try to use the quill board there for distraction. And try to add more. Try to defend the base with these. Boom. Boom. All right, all right. All right. Not too shabby. Actually, wasn't bad. Did his eggs have stealth? Then that's actually really bad. Please, eggs. Eggs don't have stealth. Whelps have stealth. That's much, much better. All right. And blow those up. This, yes, splendid, splendid. Should be able to defend against that. And get rained out there. Okay, I do need some defenses after all. And Rend is now in stealth too. Stealth Rend, going for the boss. Alright, alright. Living bomb. Living bomb, I need you. That's living bomb right there. Oh no, base is taking damage. Too much, too much. Yikes. Have to try to defend a little bit here. And then save for the living bomb. Defend a little and then save for the living bomb. Need living bomb to kill those. Okay, it's all good. Everything's perfect. will win. This will win for sure, right?
For sure. Strong. And you could have it like minus two levels and it would still be great. But then at some point it did start to struggle. And then the harpies. We're getting enough mining done. It's fine now. How do we kill those though? Well, now, now it's gonna be easy. Someone's going to go up there on those ogre mages. And we'll handle that boss there. The stealth. The power of the stealth. That's so, so strong. Let mine again. That's not active. Now it's active. Let grabs the ogre mage, which is fine now that we have we have units that are immediately sh hitting it. So it takes a while for them to recover. I'll send something out there for the torrent to fight against. Grab that, wonderful, wonderful. That's active, but it's fine that it grabs a harpy. Because the hobbies again, they're they're coming out without without being able to do that much yet. Then our assault on Sneed begins. Oh no! It actually got rains. That's a little less fun. We managed to get a lot of eggs. We got some drakes. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're able to get the push in now, right? Before that becomes active. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we got it. Okay. So we're going to take that. I can send harpies now. And blast those away. Cooper can kill that miner. Push with the eggs. The eggs will kill the mountaineer. We could even push with the wargen again. Maybe not. That may have been a bit too much. That attempt. We, we can push with Drakizat. No, Drakizat, you're so slow. Oh, poor Drecky. They got to mine everything. And then some more. That Drecky set. Oh boy. Oh, we got a good living bomb out there. We're going to get harpies. Drag is it's actually challenging the boss to the to a duel. Don't 
don't let them chain lightning the harpies. The Borgen. The Borgen ambushed the boss. All right. We actually get to into the map. Oh, it's on. Sending in Drakisat. We're in the living bomb to the army. Here they come, here they come. And here comes the living bomb. What is shooting at my base? There of Murlocs. That's fine. Because Cookie Falls. Look at that. Drak is at and the Vorgen. Drak is at and the Vorgen. Just, just let Drak stay in the hand. Something. It's going to ambush there. Going to drop a bunch of stuff here. And then send in the harpies. That means that we are going to kill everything there exactly like that. And then we will tank with this for the harpies. Mm, like this. We've already taken two of these places now. Wonderful. Then we tank for the harpies with that. We'll actually tank for the hobbies with all sorts of things. And we'll drop all sorts of damage there and we are going to win. Boom. Yep. A little bit of focus and boom. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.